Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video on Hyperplane from your friend Kamal Nayan Ganguly. I am again back to you with another video from the field of arts, creativity and the finer things in life. Sorry for being so late in uploading this video because I was busy in all these festivities that we Indians have. But yeah, now I'm back. Today's topic is a very interesting one. It is the biochemistry of creativity. So guys, you know that the human biochemistry is full of interesting chemicals. It is a potent cocktail of several chemicals, hormones, mucus, you name it and the human body has it. But what is the chemical responsible for creativity? So guys, write down this name, serotonin. So guys, serotonin is the chemical that is responsible for brain functions like learning, like expressing happiness, sexual functions. Good levels of serotonin gives you a very positive outlook. Uh, it makes you very open to experiences, very expressive, very happy. But excessive serotonin on the other hand can cause uh, severe symptoms like shivering, like high fever, seizures even. So yes, you can say that serotonin is the hormone of ecstasy. It is the chemical of ecstasy. So if you uh, know about saints who go into that ecstatic moment of connection with the divine, those people experience these symptoms, seizures, uh, shivering and stuff. So excessive serotonin might be working against those people. Now I will give you another bonus, how to increase the production of serotonin in your body. Since it is the chemical responsible for happiness, for ecstasy, you have to do all those things to increase the production of serotonin in the body. Some activities that uh, would increase serotonin production in your body are number one, work out 30 minutes of vigorous workout at least per day is very important for that. Anything which gives you novelty, some new activities, uh, going to a new place, meeting new people, that will also help you uh, increase serotonin production. Uh, going out in the nature gives you a high, gives you a boost in serotonin production. Uh, being with children or positive people or happy people who already have high production of serotonin can increase your serotonin also a good diet of course this is a complete no-brainer a good diet is often a very good catalyst for serotonin production for example avoid uh, fatty foods uh, greasy foods fast foods eat whole food f grains f uh, fruits vegetables feel light feel happy if you have a heavy greasy meal you don't feel very positive after that so yeah light meals overall do all those activities which give you happiness that will increase your serotonin uh, making goals and fulfilling them is another way to uh, increase serotonin because that uh, when you fulfill a goal you get a kick of dopamine which is again the hormone of reward. So once that dopamine go goes up, it uh, automatically invokes the production of serotonin. And that doing all these things, you will see that you are very positive, you are open, your the floodgates of your mind are open and you are feeling more and more creative and open to express. So guys, I am sure you like this video because uh, it's a very important thing for people like us or anyone for that matter. Thanks for watching this video and I'll be back again with another video on topics related to art, creativity and the finer things in life. Keep creating, don't stop, don't care for anybody, just go on creating. See you again very soon on your own channel Hyperplane. Please give me a like, a share and a subscribe and press the bell icon if you find my videos useful. Thank you. Goodbye.
ओके सॉरी Hi guys welcome back to yet another video on hyperplane from your friend Kamal Nain Ganguly I extreme <laughs> So guys you already know that the human body is made up of uh, so you 